Good morning, YouTube land. This bright and beautiful night. Uh, I'm shooting this video at 11.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Compared to Android and WebOS, the iPod Touch and iPhone 4 sucks. Granted, it's a pleasant, beautiful interface and easy to use. But it's heavily crippled because you really can't do shit. The only thing you can do on the iPod Touch and the iPhone is that which the apps will allow. And Apple only allows apps to do so much. With Android, it is more like a regular personal computer than anything. You can install anything you want. You're not stuck to the Google App Store, or the Google, known as the Google Marketplace. You can have different marketplaces on it. You can have installers on it that's not specific from a marketplace and download anything you want. Of course, just like a computer, you run the risk of downloading infectious stuff but there's plenty of security software available for it. So in terms of capability and overall computing power, the iPod Touch 4G, 2G, 3G, and the iPhone first generation through the fourth generation sucks. Yep, sorry Apple fanboys. That's just the way it is. Not to say I don't like the iPod Touch 4G. I, I own one and I really enjoy it. But I get a lot more use out of my my Touch 4G Android 2.2 phone than I do out of my iPod Touch. My iPod Touch for me is more or less my jukebox and that which I listen to podcasts and watch podcasts. It's about the only thing I get use out of it for and to help out games. Yep, I know I'm going to be crucified for this one by the Apple fanboys and fangirls. 